Welcome to the awesome, I'm Big Roy and this is Marvel Strike Force. So we're going to do tier 6 and 7 of the Star-Lord event. Once Rocket Raccoon dropped in the raid store, I went hardcore to get him up to 7 as fast as possible. Finished with plenty of time. I also use him in my arena team and raids a lot, so I was extra motivated to get him up so I'd be ready for this. I was ready for tons of time to spare, kind of wasted the power cores to refresh the raid store. But anyways, so tier 6 is much easier than 7, even if your team isn't as high as mine is, because it's only 7 enemies. So it shouldn't be too hard for most people that can do it. Uh, kill order, first you want to take out Loki, of course. You don't want him doing his mind control and then his stealth everyone and summon. So he's definitely your first target. Then you want to take out Deadpool. Don't want him bouncing around and executing people. Now, since I played this so sloppy because I was so much higher than it, I did not kill Deadpool for some reason. So don't be like me. Make sure you finish off that Deadpool. Uh, if you can take out Doctor Strange before he does his flip, go ahead and do that. If not, go ahead and take out Mordo first. You don't want him blinding and slowing and possibly stunning you. So I go ahead and finish off Deadpool and then Strange. And then on to Cable. After that. And then Thor and Wolverine. Very easy compared to Seven. Seven, it gets a whole lot harder. As we'll soon see. All right, we're going to go straight into Tier 7. No changes to the team, still 141k. Now, this one is a whole lot of Kree. Um, hopefully, when they buff them, it doesn't make this impossible if you're watching this in the future. Because um, they tend to overbuff, as we've seen with Shield and Defenders. Anyways, I went after Ultimus first because he gives turn meter to all the other Kree. So I wanted to make sure we take him out first. I'm going to go after Korath. Can I finish him? No, I did one damage. <laughs> That's what you get for using a level 4 boomer. Alright, so then we're going to taunt and then we have to go after Thanos next. Because we cannot remove that taunt with any of these guys. Uh, so we're going to do ult with her. And the basic. Then we're going to blind even though we know he's going to resist it. Just to give that energy to Rocket. Make sure he gets his AoE. Now if your team is somewhat lower or if you don't have Rocket. Then you probably aren't going to beat it anyways if you don't have Rocket. Uh, but you might want to save Yondu's AoE for when all these guys drop down. So you can hit him with the Rocket and then the Yondu AoE. But my rocket is almost completely maxed. So he's going to almost take all of them out. But yeah, you definitely want to prioritize uh, Yondu and a rocket for this tier just because you need that the heavy AoE just because they're all dropping down at once. Gamora will do okay but at most she'll only kill like two or three with her uh, with her multiple turns. Whereas if you hit them with two strong AoEs from Yondu and Rocket Raccoon then it's gonna make it a whole lot easier. She can always go in and clean up after of course but so I'm gonna take out that noble then we'll take out this one here. And then we'll ult. And we pretty much got it in the bag. 
Uh, definitely you want to put as much as you can into your rockets. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little impar or partial because I love him so much and he just destroys everything. So <laughs> there we go. Booyah indeed. Seven star Star Lord. It's been a long time coming. It's definitely going to help me out in Arena more with those extra two stars. Extra survivability, more damage is always good. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at the characters I use to finish these two tiers. First off, we'll go to Ravagers. And as I say in every video, I'm not promoting the guys with red stars if I'm not using them because it will inflate your total collection power. Yondu, tier 11, level 68. Seven yellow, one red, six, 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 four. I haven't touched him for a long time. Uh, Boomer. <laughs> Level 4, Tier 1, 110. Thankfully, I didn't have to waste any resources on him. Got it done with just the 4. Uh, if your other guys aren't as high, you might have to put a little more into him. And then our Guardians, Rocket Raccoon. My Crown Jewel, Tier 12, Level 70. 7 yellow, 2 red, 6674. And 2 orange pieces from doing the Dark Dimension twice. We got Drax, level 70, tier 11, 7 yellow. I haven't got any red on him yet. 6664. Didn't use Groot. Gamora, level 60, tier 9, 7 yellow, no red. 6364. I haven't put anything into her for a long time. Uh, so you can still get it done if she's that low if you're Rocket and Yondu are beefy enough. So there it is, my Star Lord. Let's take him up to seven right now. There's six. Get that nice little boost. And then to seven. And there we go. He is now one of my strongest characters. Hopefully, I can get some more red stars on him. The. Uh, my luck will improve with red stars. Still have not got a five or higher on anybody. Not even on AIM or Hydra or any other garbage. <laughs> but, you know, that's that's how it goes. We'll just have to do the best. So we'll let Star-Lord take us out doing his, his hip thrust. Uh, there will be a new Masters of Launch podcast episode this coming Monday after two weeks off for the holidays. So make sure you check that out when it comes out. And until next time, stay tuned and stay awesome.